Hit Film Sensei here. Today we're going to take a look at how to use the time reverse effect and maybe why you'd like to do it. So I want to shoot this little scene where I sort of uh, come out here. You can see this is the raw footage. I come out here, I walk out, I got my gun in the holster, turn around, see the imaginary bad guy, right? I am down, right? And then I do a quick draw, pow, right? Oh yeah. And I'm looking, I'm looking mean, look at the face. Oh, I look so mean, right? And then I want to reholster it. So I do my little gun flip. But the problem is, is that little toy holster doesn't, you know, let you slide it in. You got to kind of slide it in. So I said, well, how can I do that, right? So here's how I did it. What I did was I, and I've already kind of baked, baked out these clips here a little bit. So I have the before holster, right? Which is where I'm sort of, walking out here right you already saw this all the way until I go to put the whole the thing back in the holster right then I actually have the holstering scene but here's what I did what I did was was that I pulled it out of the thing right so again I pulled it out of the thing because it pulls out real easy it's just doesn't go in very easy so I'm gonna drop that right it's a very small quick little clip there and then I have the after the holstering right where, you know, I then look menacingly and walk off the screen or whatever. OK, so here is this. OK, and I'm just going to zoom in sliding this little thing here so that you can see. So what happens is, is now I, you know, I go to put the gun away and then I pull it out and then it's in. Right. OK, now here's what you're going to do. And I'm going to change workspace to the classic workspace and in the effects or in the um, uh, special effects, we're going to look for the time reverse effect. And I'm just going to take that time reverse effect and I'm going to drop it right onto my holstering. So instead of it pulling out, now as I go through, it slides into it because it's been reversed. It just looks like I'm dropping it in there. And then, oh, look, it's in there already, right? So that's the time reverse effect. It can be used right on the editor timeline. You can also use it in a composite shot if you'd like, but you don't have to. So that's if essentially it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.